Good. We are now on the automatic sequencer, and the countdown will be run now by that automatic sequencer. A number of functions are carried out by the sequencer, and they must be carried out in the proper order, or they would be automatically shut down. Also, uh, at the same time, the launch crew here in the firing room will continue to monitor their various readouts, temperatures, checking the gauges for pressures and rates. They could override the sequencer if necessary. At the uh, <coughs> T-minus three minute and six second mark, the automatic sequencer terminated the liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen replenishing. These cryogenic fuels had been re being replenished since fueling was actually completed early this morning. After this uh, termination, the fuel tanks will be pressurized. Actually, uh, pressurization has now started. The second stage liquid oxygen tank has now been pressurized, and the first stage fuel tank also has been pressurized. Now passing the two-minute mark in the countdown. The vents closing, and the pressurization is taking place on the two stages of the Saturn 1B. At the T-minus one minute, uh, 15 second mark, Paul Weitz will trip two switches it's in the command module, placing the spacecraft uh, batteries online. Go. These batteries I don't think launch control sees it yet, but a low deck of rain clouds has suddenly begun to, to move cells, in, which is obviously going to obscure some of the view. T-minus one minute, 30 seconds and counting, and our countdown continues to go smoothly. Also during the automatic sequence, we'll switch to inter internal power. We've been carrying uh, the power from a ground source up to this point to save on the flight batteries at T-minus 50 seconds. In the count, we'll switch to earn internal power and stay on internal power for the remainder of the count. We're approaching the one-minute mark in our countdown mark. T-minus one minute. One minute and counting in the launch of the first manned mission in Skylab. T minus 50 seconds, T minus 50 seconds and counting, and we are now going to internal power. All stages switching to internal power, stages now and, and fuel tanks pressurized. Approaching the 30 second mark in the countdown. At 30 seconds, water will begin spraying on the deck of the mobile launcher. T minus 30 seconds, and the countdown continuing to go smoothly. The Skylab itself orbiting some 780 nautical miles northeast of KSC at this time. T minus 17 seconds and counting. T minus 15. At T minus 3.1 seconds, we'll expect the engine sequence to start on the vehicle. T minus 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Engine sequence start. 2, 1, 0. We have launch commit and we have liftoff. The clock is running. And Skylab has cleared the tower. Tower in Houston, Skylab 2. We fix any things. We've got a pitch and a roll program. Houston is now controlling. The thrust is going all inches. Boy, is that a smooth ride. 25 seconds, pitch and roll program started. Skylab now maneuvering to its proper flight path attitude. Mark 35 seconds, one nautical mile in altitude. Given a green by range safety. Mark 45 seconds, cabin pressure relieving, adjusting now from sea level to a space environment. Mark 50 seconds, two nautical miles in altitude. And roll is complete, Houston. Roger. Stand by for mode one, Bravo. Mark, mode one, Bravo. Roger, propellant dump is RCS command. Roger. Mark, uh, one minute, eight seconds, roll program complete. LF Houston, your feet wet. Roger, feet wet. That, that call up from Capcom, Dick Truly says, Skylab now capable of water landing. One minute, 20 seconds, passing through the period of maximum aerodynamic pressure on the vehicle. One minute, 25 seconds, eight nautical miles in altitude. One minute, 35 seconds, pass through Max-Q. Skylab still flying steady on all eight engines. Okay, ADS auto. Launch vehicle rates are all off. Roger. Stand by for mode one, Charlie. Mark, you're mode one, Charlie. One, Charlie. A status check and mission control by Flight Director Phil Schaffer. Go, no, go for staging. First 
staging. Houston, you're go for staging. You're looking good. Mark 2 and it's at uh, 6 seconds, 21 nautical miles in altitude, 20 nautical miles downrange. Velocity now reading 5,947 feet per second. Coming up now on uh, staging and shutdown. Center engine shut down. Seven outboards out. I got an S4 B light, Houston, and a nice staging. Roger that. Mark, two minutes, uh, 35 seconds, staging on schedule. Conrad White's Kerwin now riding on a good second stage engine. Coming up now on launch escape tower, Genesis 4 Bay. Roger, Tower Jettison, you're Mount 2. Mark, 3 minutes, 2 seconds, 47 nautical miles in altitude. The launch escape tower now ejected. Reports Conrad, his crew safety roll no longer required. 3 minutes, 12 seconds, 50 nautical miles in altitude, 84 nautical miles downrange. Velocity now reading 8,200 feet per second. minutes 25 seconds the first stage and launch escape tower both falling away now headed for their own splashdowns meanwhile conrad white's curlin now at 58 nautical miles so skylab continuing to climb moving out well beyond the earth's atmosphere